Only on 13, a woman meeting her newborn great-great-grandson for the first time. I spoke with her great-grandson about the introduction and want to share with you some photos that are almost heartbreaking, but so beautiful and memorable at the same time. A wish come true through a nursing home window. Just to see that smile on her face, it just lit up her world. A family smiling back at now 102-year-old Mary Farley. We call her Nani, and a few years ago when I told her that I was going to be getting married, she pulled me to the side and said, Chad, my final wish is to meet a great, great grandchild. And she has twice with Chad Carroll's firstborn son, Bennett, who she was able to hold and now a perfect birthday gift meeting Bishop Carroll. So it's a dream come true for her for her second time. Bishop born at the onset of the pandemic in March. So they had to get creative with this introduction. They were able to do FaceTime. So we were able to talk to her through the window so she could hear us. And then we showed her the great grandbabies. Some longevity runs in this family. Mary's husband, Charles Farley, passed away in his late 90s. They were married 74 years. Everybody always asked them, what, how did y'all stay married so long? And it was through love and faith. Um, always love one another. Always say I love you each night. Lessons passed on from generation to generation to generation through a strong family bond that even a window barrier can't keep apart. That story just makes you smile. You know, at first they weren't sure if, if um, the baby bishop was able, going to be able to meet their great, great grandmother, but it's a great thing that they were able to figure it out, especially uh, so close to her birthday too. And you saw all the love in their faces just gathered outside that, that window and that they were able to share that moment. I That's mean, what a gift. A memory they'll always remember too. I love it.